Can we get a little commotion for the dress? This dress is from Fabletics and I totally forgot that I had it until this very moment. I was like, I wanna look kinda cute today. I wanna look kinda put together, but at the same time, I still wanted athleisure. You know, I didn't wanna wear anything too nice. And I was like, what the heck could I wear? And then it hit me. This is the perfect dress. Well, you clicked on this video for a reason, so you know why you're here. Today we are doing a giant reset day. We have a lot to do today. I have a long list of things that I wanna get done today. It's a Sunday, which I feel like is always a nice day to get stuff done. I have my entire day cleared out to just kind of reset. Right now, it's the month of August. In July, I was feeling kind of really chaotic and all over the place. I just felt like I was struggling to like, not keep up, but struggling to maintain like a balanced lifestyle. I feel like I was going out a ton and my room was kind of messy and I was like not eating the healthiest. I was eating out a bunch. And on one hand it's summer. So like I know that it's gonna be a little more chaotic than it usually is in like the fall or winter. At least that's what I always tell myself. It just kind of hit me and it kind of happens at this point every summer. I get really, really bad anxiety the last week of July and then going into the beginning of August. And I'm still kind of like surrounded by that anxiety a little bit. It's just like, it's kind of everything. You know, just my general anxiety I always have, but then it's also like a lot of health anxiety I'm still going through. Always have that, but it gets really bad at this time of the year. And then around like Christmas, those are like my two times of the year where it gets like super bad. And then also just like anxiety with like feelings of loneliness and like sadness. I have been feeling really left out lately and like alone even though no one is leaving me out I think it's just like I'm having a hard time dealing with all of my friends being busy all the time my friends went on a trip this weekend that I was really bummed that I couldn't go on because I really was looking forward to maybe doing this trip with them this summer but it just didn't work out because I was in Florida visiting my grandpa last week and the days over overlapped so I couldn't go I'm obviously very thankful I was able to see my family and my grandpa but I think I've just had like a lot of anxiety about these things because like I don't like to miss anything it's really weird because I'm not the most social person in the world but I like to be included in everything um, so I think I'm just, I don't know, I'm, this is not my therapy session. I don't know why I'm venting to you about all of this. I am just feeling a little all over the place. So I just want to have a nice reset day. I really want to get into a new routine and mindset because I have been sleeping in a lot. I've been feeling really anxious in the morning and at night, and I want to just train myself to get up early, go on walks in the morning, I get a new workout schedule and dance class schedule. We're just, we're going to do a lot today. So if you're new here, you now know about my deepest, darkest anxieties, but you don't know any general information. My name's Alexis. I am 26. I live in Manhattan. This is my studio apartment. I want to go to the grocery store. I want to clean out my fridge and my pantry. Pantry's a loose term. It's literally just a uh, cupboard. Is that the word? Cupboard? Am I okay? What's the word for that? Cupboard? Why, why do I just keep saying it? cabinet but could it be called a cupboard oh my gosh am i okay How, why did i forget the word for cabinet okay moving on past that i don't have a pantry i just have a cabinet that i put all of my stuff in that doesn't sound like the right word either but whatever whatever so i want to start with a walk this morning get some sunlight get some steps in even though i usually start my days with the gym i think i'm gonna end it with that today because i want to like look cute and nice and get stuff done there's a farmer's market on sundays that i want to go to and we're gonna stop by there and see if there's anything cute that i can pick up I also wanna to go to the vitamin shop because I wanna get some more protein powder because I'm almost out of that. And then I wanna get a few supplements that I have been researching. I also need to check on my friend's cats and I wanna get a coffee. So we have a few errands to run while we're outside. Founder. All right, checked on the cats. They're looking good, being cute. Now I just mobile ordered Duncan. I'm gonna pick that up. It is just so stunning outside today. It's crazy.
this park behind the Natural History Museum has been under construction for as long as I can remember. Like it's been years and it's finally open and it's it's just so pretty and nice. It's so cute. It's humid outside. I picked up a few things while I was out. Got my Duncan, obviously, and fed the cats. But so I went to the vitamin shop, which I didn't even realize. I keep going to the east side to GNC, which I'm pretty sure is a little more affordable than the vitamin shop, to get my protein powder and stuff. I didn't realize there was a vitamin shop on the west side. So went there, got my favorite protein powder, gold standard whey, French vanilla cream, and then I picked up some magnesium glycinate. I've been doing a lot of research on magnesium for like a year. And I just think it's gonna help with my anxiety, sleeping, all of that. So finally took the leap to try this out. Uh, then I went to the bazaar, nothing really spoke to me. I didn't feel like looking through clothes. There's a grand bazaar on the west side every Sunday, all year round, and tons of vendors come and sell clothes and pictures and art and literally anything. And then I went to the farmer's market and, oh, hi. Went to the farmer's market. I feel like strawberries aren't in season. That was kind of what I wanted. So I think I have to get this at the store because I didn't see any strawberries. There was lots of fruit, but no strawberries. But I did, as a little treat, get this apple bread. It was $3. We're venturing into the afternoon at this point. I feel like I should eat something. I got hash browns at Dunkin', but like, that was just to hold me over. I was on a trip last week, so I don't really have any food right now in my apartment. So I got my favorite kale Caesar salad from Lenwich. <laughs> Let's like make a schedule for the week. Let's plan for the week. I kind of want to make some kind of meal plan because I feel like I usually just go to the grocery store and I'm like, Wah. and I think of like one dinner and one lunch and I get stuff for that and then I run out of it by the middle of the week. While I eat my salad, let's, let's prep the week for success. When I have so many things to do, I literally cannot think straight. I have been sitting here opening up a million tabs on my computer. Like I'll look up like meal ideas, healthy. And then all of a sudden I'll be on Amazon looking up planters to hang from the ceiling. And then all of a sudden I'll be on Pinterest and I'll be like cute apartment inspo. Like I am all over the place. I really need to like consolidate my thoughts. This always happens when I have like a whole day to myself to just get things done. I end up not getting that much done because I, it's so hard for me to organize my thoughts. Like I can make as many lists as I want, but I get so excited with like the possibility and opportunity to do a million things that I like can't like contain it. I just ordered so many things on Amazon. Some is for my room. I'm gonna do another part of my room reorganization. I ordered new like decor and things to like tie the apartment together that I literally have been putting off getting for like two years. Um, and then I also ordered some stuff just for me personally. I'm toying with the idea of filming my journey to becoming my better self. So somehow when I was gone, I was gone for five days in Florida. My fridge is kind of weird like It'll open sometimes if you don't have everything perfectly placed. So when I came home, the fridge was like, like this. I don't even know if you can see that. It wasn't closed all the way. It wasn't open, but wasn't suctioned. So I'm scared like things went bad. Um, I really didn't have much in my fridge at all anyways, but I'm just getting rid of some stuff that I'm a little questionable about. I also haven't done like a freezer clean out in forever. So let's do that. I consistently go into Trader Joe's saying I'm gonna pick up a few things and then I spend a million dollars. Well, actually I do know how. It's because I started to eat healthier and cook for myself. So now things are costing more because I'm actually buying like meat and more things for meals instead of just planning to eat out all the time. I guess that is why I spent a hundred dollars, but we'll talk about it when I get home.
so many groceries. It's like 89 degrees outside. You know what that means? Time for a grocery haul. I just realized I never cleaned out my pantry. And honestly, I kind of want to do that before I put things away. Because there's some weird stuff. Well, is it expired? Like peppermint junior mints? That has to be from Christmas. I never opened this pantry. These are literally pizzelles my mom made for Christmas. That was eight months ago. <sighs> Usually I shop with a basket because when the basket gets too heavy for me to carry in the store, I'm like, oh, that'll be too heavy for me to carry home. Today I got a cart. I didn't feel like having a basket and that's how I accidentally buy too much. Without further ado, let's do a haul. I got eggs. So I bought a shit ton of tea which this box got crushed, but that's fine. Even though I'm not a big fan of tea, I'm really trying to learn how to like it. So I got green tea, I got peppermint tea, because anytime I have a stomach ache, my dad's always like, make some peppermint tea. And I'm like, I don't have any of that. This one I actually really like a lot, ginger turmeric tea. We got my three teas, baby. Always gotta try a new pasta if they have a new kind. And this is the Italian Artisan Organic Striped Farfalline. Had to get it. Crumbled feta. I'm replenishing my hemp seeds and my chia seeds because I used to do a ton of chia puddings, a ton of stuff with hemp seeds, and I haven't done it in like over a year. And I just feel like the I only have a little bit left of both of these and I just feel like I should replenish with new because I don't know how those other ones are looking. I feel like this stuff lasts forever, but got more walnuts for my salad I like to make. Got Greek yogurt. In the moment, I got, I wanted to make chicken this week, but I was like, I need another dinner. I think I'm gonna make tacos. I am gonna try to use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, which I've done before, but I've been on a big sour cream kick and I think I gotta like stop because I will just eat a whole tub of sour cream. Got more peanut butter, got raw honey, taco seasoning, which I already had one in my pantry. An onion. My snack of the week is sea salted saddle potato crisps. Got a bag of my favorite pasta just to have on hand in case I need it. Got some tomatoes. Oh, I should have bought refried beans. And got some more oat milk. Bag two. I got strawberries for my salad I like to make. I got spinach. This is when I got the idea to make tacos. I saw they had this <laughs> shredded iceberg lettuce and I was like, I want tacos. I got the dill salad kit again because I loved it. I got carrots, two bell peppers, two yogurts. I know I got the big thing of Greek yogurt, but <laughs> I like to have some for on the go, especially like if I'm running to a dance class and I want something to eat. I like to like grab a Greek yogurt before. They were out of normal broccoli florets, so I had to get organic. Got more cheese. My dessert is their new s'mores ice cream. Never tried that. There's there so many fruit flies in here right now. Ground turkey for the tacos, chicken to make just like pan fried chicken. I got these peanut butter and jelly fruise balls. They're like protein balls. I don't know, I wanna go to the gym later and I feel like I need a little snack, so I got this fruit. And I got some Parmesan and my last bag. Well, I went to CVS and got more cotton rounds and daily vitamins. Got apple cider vinegar, tortillas for my tacos, bananas, my favorite little pesto sauce, and last but not least, black olives. So that brings my total to $121.84. It's kind of a lot. That's probably the most I've ever spent at Trader Joe's. I think a lot of the reason though is because I was like replenishing a ton of stuff. I don't know, I'm just trying to like reset my kitchen to like set myself up to be healthier and have the things I need to be healthier, so. Not that, I'm acting like I was eating so unhealthy before. I wasn't, but I just, I'm doing everything in my power right now to get myself like back on a healthier track. I think I'm gonna wipe out my fridge shelves with a wipe and then put everything away. And now it's time for the restock. So I ordered toilet paper and paper towels last week, right before I went to Florida, and I restock all of them up here. I buy in bulk because it's expensive in the city to buy them at actual stores and then it's like so hard to carry them. Like if you're gonna go to a store and buy more than one or two rolls, you're not buying anything else at that store just because it's hard. So I just like to order it on Amazon. It's easier that way, it's cheaper that way. Got my recycling together. Have everything in the trash. I'm feeling pretty good about the kitchen. Let's try these fruise balls. They're peanut butter and jelly flavored. Is there even protein in this? Six grams, so I guess it's more like energy. Wait, that's so good though. It's hard to swallow. I need to keep something like this on hand. 
That's probably why I like it. I love um, Lara bars, which are made out of dates. I didn't notice this on the last one. The filling is peanut butter and jelly. Yum. I guess I'm gonna eat these and then go to the gym. Bennett's sitting on my bed like a little angel. Hey, Bennett. Hi. It feels very bright in here right now. I'm trying to turn a new leaf with my, like, activity levels. I just feel like all of July and the first two weeks of August, I wasn't dancing as much. I haven't been going on as many walks. Like, I don't really know what I've been doing, but haven't been as active as I usually am. So I'm trying to fix that. I also, so since last November, I've been doing Future, which is an app that sponsored me in November. And then starting in December, I paid for it myself. So I've been paying for the app the entire time. I haven't done a sponsorship with them since. And I really, really, truly love the app, but they raised the price. It got a little bit too expensive and it's like not in my budget anymore to do. So I canceled my membership that ends on Tuesday. So I'm gonna be starting a new like workout program. I was doing like three strength training workouts a week plus my dance classes. Um, I feel like I've learned enough from my trainer on the app to like put together workouts myself. I'm gonna rinse off, take a quick little shower. I'm loving this reset day. Like I haven't seen or talked to anybody all day and like I'm kind of loving it because I feel like sometimes you need to just take like a day or two to like really reset. Because of how many fans I have to turn on when I cook chicken, uh, I'm not going to speak for the rest of this portion and you'll just see me doing it because it gets loud. Another day, another cockroach. Bennett scouted this one out. He was staring at my sink for 20 minutes. I was like, what are you looking at? And then out between the wall and the counter came a cockroach and I trapped him under this container. So, yay. I really wish that I could learn how to like not procrastinate at night. It's like after I eat dinner, everything goes down the drain. So I sit and I usually watch TV and then I start scrolling and then I get really anxious about a ton of things and then I just kind of like am doom scrolling. I like know I'm doing it, but I can't stop. I'm a little frustrated because I could have gotten more stuff done. Um, but I want to get ready for bed and go to bed in the next like 20 minutes before it's midnight. So I guess I'll unpack my suitcase and then we'll get ready for bed. I mean, that's actually last on my list i will say i do feel pretty ready for like the week ahead i feel like we did a lot of good work today it was this was a nice reset day for me all right and i am getting ready for bed and going to sleep thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel thanks for resetting with me make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you in the next video